Hey guys, welcome back to another Ranch and Ride. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these and you know, it's just been a while since I've done one of these. Anyway guys, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, can we like have this pandemic, pandemic over? I said it that way on purpose. I, I'm over it. I don't know about you guys, but I mean, I'm starting to really get worried. Is it like, <laughs> is there an end in sight? Man, you know, and when you have health problems already, oh, come on people. I have health problems already, so I worry about getting it, that, you know, what's gonna happen from there? Are you gonna go ask or are you just gonna see your thumb your ass? What the fuck? Oh. Anyway, I'll explain a little more why I'm in such a cranky mood. Um, I haven't left my house in quite a few days, and my lovely house, whether you want to believe in this or not, has a something that occupies space in my house that is not human, it's not a pet, it's, if you're in the house too long, it will affect you. I've had a priest there, I've had ghost hunter people, I've had uh, psychics, I've had, what was the other one I forgot, I forgot what the other one, uh, anyway, it's not got any better, and it, it does it to me, it does it to my fiance, it, it just, it's affected our animals, um, we had a cat before that had actually gotten attacked several times by something there, that's what led to me calling people and trying to deal with it because it's one thing to affect me but if you, if you fuck with my animals it's like I can't I can't be responsible for what I do if you hurt one of my kids my animals so and if you guys don't know I have three cats three parrots two dogs a partridge in a pear tree now <laughs> oh lord but I have just been my back has been killing me. My neck has been killing me. I have this neck shoulder thing going on. I'm going Friday to, have, they have to sedate me and I go through that and oh, I, I don't want to go to the hospital, but it has to be done at the hospital. I can't do it anywhere else. And uh, it's just, hopefully I'll get some answers with what's going on because they're going to do an MRI and all kinds of other, hopefully figure it out anyway. I am like exhausted. I just went to get the best fried shrimp. If you if you are in Orlando ever, you have to get shrimp from Stonington's. Stonington's is like the be all end all of the best shrimp in the world. <clears throat> I don't eat shrimp from anywhere else anymore. It's that good. I don't care where you had fried shrimp from. It's nothing like this. Maybe one day I'll do, what do they call that, a mukbang? And show you. I have them sitting here, but I'm not going to dig them out of the bag and eat them while I'm driving. It'll just be the end of it because they're very hot and I'll end up burning myself and anyway. But, um, I do have a video that I'm working on editing right now. The Raw Beauty Christie palette. I did get a hold of that. Um, my opinion, it's not my favorite formula. It's not the worst formula though. I I don't really care very much for press pigments. I, I just don't. And if you've been watching me for a while, you understand that I just, you know, and I get so mad. I, this is one of my pet peeves is influencers talking about press pigments not to be used in the immediate eye they're not approved for the immediate eye area and when they go into why they they state uh because of possible staining that's not the way the actual fda and yes the united states states is a little more strict than most countries and and not behind the tie i hate that oh they're behind the time so they have an you know they, they don't approve it no, they don't approve it because press pigments are known to cause eye irritation. 
and possible staining. Eye irritations and possible staining. Now, I am one of the people that it actually irritates eyes. And this is what really chaps my ass. I listen to one of these influencers, actually quite a few influencers, and I when I bought a palette and I used some of the pressed pigments in my eye area and had my eye swell shut. I've only ever had it happen one time, and it was actually um, on a, for a video that I did. It was a palette, um, and it was the Manny MUA, Manny MUA, uh, Life's a Drag palette, and I forget what color, there was one specific color, and it was Red Lake, oh my god, Red Lake something, I have not I have a problem with that, and um, I believe that that palette just happened to have a higher content of it, or maybe it was just the time of the year, time of day, whatever, I had a reaction to it, my eyes swelled shut, I was extreme pain freaking out because I'm like what the hell caused and I'm thinking you know it can't be the can't be the makeup because the influencer said it it's not approved because of, of possible staining you know I, I just really believe if you are in a position that you are talking about things like this make sure you have your story straight and that's what upsets me if you're gonna bring up about the FDA if you're gonna bring up about something not being approved by the FDA finish finish you know the FDA does not approve something because and say the whole thing not just possible stain and the reason why people you know it's just like the whole I can name a million things that the world doesn't want uh, the government, the people, the this, the that, doesn't want people to know or hear because they're going to freak out. People didn't want, don't want to say that because they think people aren't going to buy the palette. Because, oh my God, it causes, causes eye irritation. I don't want that. You know, and, and that's people's stupidity. It's my stupidity for not looking into why exactly it was not FDA approved. And it's the Red Lake whatever. And um, I actually went and read a, a entirely way too much about this. And uh, there's red number whatever and then red lake number whatever. And the difference is, I believe it's the one that states lake is derived from salt and the other one's derived I, where they get the chemical from. I think one's derived from salt and one's derived from something else, potassium. I can't remember, but well, sodium, sodium, anyway, I'm not a scientist, there's plenty of those on here, if you listen to one, but I, I wanted to know what the difference between red number whatever and red lake number whatever, and that's what it was, it, it was how it, how it was actually, how it was made, so, anywho, I broke my vape, so I'm actually using this one here, this is it's, I don't even know how to say it. Revent? 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 R-E-V-E-N. Revent. Ant. A-N-T. I don't know. Anyway, it's a cartel. And this is, it's so pretty. They're all different. If you, I don't know if you can see, but they're all different. They're made from, I think it's like Fimo clay or, uh, not Fimo clay. What do they call this? Uh, acrylic. Acrylic. But it reminds me of Fimo clay. If you guys ever like, you know, the old hippie beads that they made that look like this, they were made out of this stuff called Fimo clay. They were really cool. You can make all kinds of really cool stuff. It's really hard. They're like, roll this stuff out and cut it. But you can make anything if you were creative enough. You have to roll a bunch of little tiny pieces and then you put them all together. Kind of like a mosaic. You kind of put it together like that. But, anywho. That is my ranting today, I guess, but I don't know. I've just been kind of in a very weird mindset lately, and I think a lot of people are, and you know, of course it's from all this. I mean, look at my face. I have like, this is the first time probably I have 
no like I look like pasty white I almost look sick because I'm so white if my face didn't have red to it I'd be clear <laughs> anyway but what's this world coming to and um I I'm the funniest person the other day June 22nd, or excuse me, July 22nd, I was on the internet trying to see if anybody posted about uh, Lori Vallow. They, Lori Vallow, Daybell, oh God, how many names did she have? Ryan. You know, she's been married like five times? Jesus Christ. I guess she never thought she'd be uh, getting married and get to spend about a week with him or whatever it was. They never see him again. But I'm just glad that they are in jail. Hopefully they will get everything in order. And they will be locked up for the rest of their lives. I think they should be taken out and tortured. Who in their right mind could hurt their child? My God. You know? Ugh. Ew. Her, not to mention her two children. Her husband. That Well, now, now her... Her, her passed away husband you know her brother who else god i mean it's just like and her ex-husband her uh ty lee's father you know it's like there is a cloud of death following this woman and you know it's just i can't wait to see how they spin this because I mean, what is she going to do? She can't say she, uh, she can't claim insanity because, and if you guys haven't, haven't thought about this one, uh, the husband that died, um, what's his name? God, Ballow. I can't think of his first name. Oh my God. Anyway, he had her do a, you know, wellness, whatever they check to make sure she wasn't nuts you know he, he was trying to get her mental health which you know if these police would have just freaking listened to him the guy i mean he'd be alive charles charles that's right charles 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 would be alive the two kids would be alive her brother would be alive you know you know and sometimes it's like everybody's like Cops don't want to do their job, but they want to overdo other shit. You know, it's like, it's like, need I bring it up? I don't want to, you know, go fully into it, but, um, you know, you can put your knee on somebody's neck and kill them, but you can't arrest a white bitch for being a dumb cunt. If there is not something with that whole thought process right there what is wrong with these police my god and you know what i'm right i have been treated like absolute dog shit by cops so it's not just it's not just color it's just i i guess it's whatever pulls their boat but i i will say i do have a big sensitivity to what uh, black people go through, man. I just, you know, to to be accused of something. Oh, and the only proof they 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 have they want to use is the color of your skin. Oh, you did something wrong. Well, where's your proof? You're black. I mean, yes, I said it, but that's what, that's the way they fucking think. How in the fucking hell can somebody think like that? You know, I look at what you do. I don't care the color of your skin, the color of your hair, what, what you smell like, you, you know. I don't give a shit that, where you live, you know, what you live in, you know, what you're wearing. You stepped in dog shit. I, you know, I don't care anything about you. I care about what you did. And I, that's how I look at it. I was raised. My mom is very. My mom loves everybody. My mom gives everybody a chance. My mom doesn't judge anybody. Now, that said, my grandmother was completely opposite. 
So if I did not have a fucked up childhood, I have one half telling me, you know, teaching me to be very neutral with everything and, and one side teaching me to be very close minded. God, if that's not a fucked up way to, you know, and you know, when I grew up, I grew up just fuck it all. I'm going to judge no one. I'm going to not judge anyone. I'm just going to. I'm going to go by what you do. And I'm not even going to judge you. I'm going to form an opinion of you. You know. By what you do. But I'm not going to judge you. That's not my job. But these damn cops. Cops get on their fucking high horse. About all kinds of shit though. You know. And it's a shame. Because I think they need to. You know. The whole thing is. A convicted felon can't be a cop. But you know what. A convicted felon would make the best cop because they've been on the other side and I think that's exactly the problem I think if they took a bunch of people you know convicted felons that have gotten you know gotten their life together and and you know made amends for what they've done and you know turned around allow them to be a police officers allow them to do it because they've been on the other side you know that's my opinion and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to eat my dinner. And this was a kind of weird rant, wasn't it? Anyway, guys, I love you. And I will see you on the next one. Um, expect the video from the Raw Beauty Christy and Pure Club. Hopefully should be up tomorrow. I may even have it up tonight. Who knows? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.